We begin with the continuing hostage crisis at that natural gas plant in a remote corner of the Sahara Desert in Algeria. Hundreds of the foreign workers captured by Islamic militants on Wednesday have been freed. It's unclear how many more remain captive. At least one American has been found dead. He's identified as Frederick Butaccio of Katy, Texas. It's not clear how he died. Let's get the latest from Charlie Daggett in our London Bureau. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Anthony. Day four of this hostage standoff in the picture is still murky. At least 20 foreign workers remain unaccounted for. As you reported, one American has been confirmed killed. U.S. aircraft have evacuated some of the wounded and Americans may be among them, but it is also thought other Americans are still among the missing. These are the workers who managed to escape in the chaos of the hostage crisis in the Algerian desert. The Algerian army shuttled the survivors of the bloody rescue attempt to nearby hospitals. Everybody's taking good care of us, and we were lucky that uh, we are still alive. Freed hostages said the attackers specifically hunted down foreign workers. This driver said, the terrorists told us, you have nothing to do with this. You're Algerians and Muslims. We only want the foreigners. The Al-Qaeda-linked group behind the siege, led by Mukhtar Bill Mukhtar, claims that two Americans are among the foreigners still being held. They offered to trade them for two terrorists held in the U.S., an offer immediately immediately rejected by Washington. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton urged the Algerian government to take maximum care to ensure the safety of the remaining hostages. This is an act of terror. The perpetrators are the terrorists. It is absolutely essential that while we work to resolve this particular terrible situation, uh, we continue to broaden and deepen our counterterrorism cooperation. We've also heard reports this morning that Algerian forces have found the burnt bodies of 15 victims at the gas plant. It's too early to identify whether they're the bodies of hostages, attackers, or both. Anthony? All right, Charlie Daggett in London. Thank you, Charlie.